finding the equation of the line that goes through the points uh, 1 and negative 4 and negative 3 and 2. Okay, so we have given two points and there's a line, there's a unique line that goes through these two points and we're going to find the equation of that line. So the first thing we have to do is find the slope and we use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and it's helpful to take the two points and label one of them point one and po the other one point two and uh, and then x1 y1 x2 y2 and it doesn't matter which one you call point one or point two uh, but once you've settled on on the names then then you stick with them and so that's what we do. What we've got is uh, we've got y2 here minus y1. Notice that minus a negative 4. We have to be careful. That's going to be a positive 4 to make 6. And then on the bottom, it's x2 minus x1. And that gives us a negative 4, which we end up with a negative 3 halves here. Let's see if this get it up a little bit. So a negative 3 halves for the slope. Notice we've taken y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and uh, simplified it. Now the next step is to use the point slope formula and all you need to uh, for that is a um, a point and a slope and we have that. We have two points as a matter of fact and I'm just going to pick point one. I could have picked the other point but I'm going to pick the first point and uh, here's my point slope formula and here's my slope and my point and all I all I need to do is plug in x1 right there and uh, y1 right there and this slope right here and that's what I've done here it is and you might take a look at that you have to be careful whenever you have minus you want to keep the integrity of the sign so you put brackets around it like that now I have to change this to a positive and distribute the negative three halves and when I do that, I get this expression. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is bring four to the other side. And of course, oops, and it becomes of course uh, negative. Oop, went too far. There it is. All right. So I bring four to the other side, and it becomes negative. And then, uh, of course, this is going to uh, be. Um, I can want to add these two numbers here, and this negative four becomes negative eight halves and three halves minus eight halves and negative five halves and then I finally get to my answer right here. This is the line that goes through those two original points.